So we've seen how to create a function with approval. Now let us see how to create a risk with approval. Okay. So just like approval, uh, function approval, you need to have uh, a parameter set up. Okay. That's the first thing you need to do. So you go to SPRO and set up the configuration parameter for risk approval. Okay, so click on maintain configuration settings and click on new entries because the approvals are going will go through workflow. So you have to set up the parameter from the workflow group. Okay, parameter ID for risk maintenance is 1063. Okay, so maintain the parameter 1063. This parameter value is again yes or no. So yes, like we saw earlier, will bring in the uh, submit button instead of save button. Okay, so click on save. Put in a transport request. And you go. Okay, that's the first step you need to do. Second step that needs to be done is anybody who is a risk owner, right? Or approver. That user needs to have the risk owner role assigned to him. Okay, the risk owner role. SAP GRC risk owner role. So anybody who is a uh, approver, risk approver has to have this role. That's number two. Number three, in NWBC, you need to go to setup and you need to set that user, the approver, in the access control owners. Okay, so the role, the owner type would be the risk owner. Okay, so you, what you do is you go and create, click on create, enter the user ID here, okay, and select the type, the owner type. So you have various, you know, different uh, types of owners. So you select risk owner, okay, because you are now wanting this person to approve the risk you become okay and become the owner of this risks all right so you, when you save it this is what you see the user and the owner type okay so this is the third step you need you need to do okay first one was the parameter second one was the role assignment Third one is this. Okay. After this, the next thing that you need to do is you need to go and set up the workflow. So you go into SM, uh, IMG, right, in access control, uh, and then workflow for access control. Click on maintain MSMP workflows. This will bring up the workflow configuration window. Now this time we need to configure the workflow for risk approval. Okay, so select work risk approval workflow. Click on display change to, to get into the change mode. To look at the rule, okay, uh, for the approval, initiator rule. Right, what is the initiator rule? So there is a risk initiator. So this risk initiator will tell you what path to take. Okay, so which will be in the route mapping, right? What route to take. So you have the rule ID, initiator, and then you have the default path. So it is basically saying the whole process needs to start from here from this path. So you go to maintain paths. So you have the GRS default path. Click on modify. You have one stage 
me for this click on modify and then you, if you should show details so you have to assign an agent okay meaning who is going to approve this right so agent ID has to be assigned the agent ID will be defined in the maintain agents tab so when you go to maintain agents so you have the SOD risk maintenance approval right so you click on this um, and then if you look on, click on modify it will tell you who the approval is who the approval is right so agent rule id now this is because agent is a type is GRA, grc api rules okay so which means whoever is assigned designated as a risk owner are the approvers okay now you go to maintain path and come to stages and click on modify show details and assign the agent id which is which is defined here okay in this maintain agents tab all approvers select one of any one approver click on save and then you generate the changes that you have made click on save first and activate so new generation new version is generated now that you have set up what is required for creating a risk with approvals let's go to msmp again and in the setup click on access risks okay so let's pick two one risk to, to make a copy of so that we can take the functions from that particular risk okay so let's take PO17 PR02 and PR08 so click on create for creating a risk now if you see we have a submit button instead of a save button okay so we wanted to take PO the PO17 right so okay so let's maintain saying Z MSB PO70 okay what is the disk so this is let's say materials mask okay materials management and PO17 is this maintain PO and accept services okay and let's say this is a risk level is high and after we do this you then need to see what was the PO17 as PR02 and PR08 okay let's expand this window add the functions the conflicting functions which is PR02 and which one was that PR08 click on add to add the second function and PR08 assign the global rule sets or the rule sets that we want to assign we'll assign global and also the custom set we we have in this system. Okay, 
and then you assign the risk owner also to complete the risk configuration. So click on add and since we have only one risk owner in the access control ownership owner section we'll just select that owner okay so with this you have entered everything that is needed for a risk okay now you submit the risk request click on submit okay so let's so okay so it's already part of our risk so let's take uh, see if it works okay so submit so this combination does not exist that's why it's got submitted successfully but anyway the idea of this uh, this exercise is to show how to create a risk with approval okay so you submitted the risk right so close. After the risk is submitted, the risk owner, okay, will log into GR in the NWBC, GRC system and come to NWBC, go to access management and click on search. And if you look, select the risk approval workflow okay this time click on search and you have your risk here right for which the decision is pending click on instance tasters so it basically gives you the details about the flow okay who the approvers are Okay, who the risk owner is and who the approver are is, and then you click on close. Now close this window, and then the user would approver would click on administration. Okay, click on the path ID. And then after confirming the details of the risk, okay. The approver will then go and approve the hit the approve button or reject button if he wants to reject the request. Click on approve. So SOD risk is approved. Now let us go and check if the risk is created or not. Right? So if we go back to setup and access risks. If you scroll down, ours was B, Z, M, S, B, 7, P, O, 70. This is the one we created, right? So now the risk is created. Okay, so sometimes this could be a tedious process in an organization to implement because you'll have to wait uh, for the risk or the function to be created till one of the approvers approves it, right? So that may delay, cause some delays in your reports and, you know, in your work. So depending on the, you know, your organization's uh, policies and requirements, you can decide whether or not to implement these workflows for uh, function creation and risk creation.